All right, we have to watch Green Mountain Coffee. It is surging yes. in the pre-market right now, up by almost 25%, 35.61 in the pre-market. That would make it the highest since April 30th. Why? Green Mountain boosted its full year earnings per share forecast and sees revenue gaining as much as 20% in the full year. Don't forget that they have a new CEO as well, uh, Brian Kelly, who came over from Coca-Cola, who takes over next Monday. Shameless plug, you would have been briefed yesterday by Mark Riddick uh, on Green Mountain Coffee. He did a great job of getting out in front of the story. You it just pays told. to watch Bloomberg surveillance. Another theme, whether you look at the Bloomberg News, Why, or Wall Street Journal, New York Times, everybody's writing about how companies are returning cash to shareholders now. They're speeding up their dividends ahead of higher taxes in the new year. The latest this morning, Costco announcing a special dividend. It is returning cash to shareholders about $3, $3 billion worth, $7 a share payment on dividends. And that's helping Costco in the pre-market here, rising almost 5%. And speaking of using cash to uh, bolster shareholder value, Express also saying that's investing $15 million to buy back 1.3 million shares. This stock climbing in the pre-market up 17% because fourth quarter earnings per share forecast, 62 to 68 cents a share. Mm. The consensus here is for 57 cents. What's interesting, though, for the apparel retailer is that the third quarter sales missed analyst estimates and its EPS did beat by three cents. That's the trend we've been seeing. It's the fourth quarter forecast that's got everyone excited. Well, it is a macro world right now, and the biggest risk, according to investors, is the fiscal cliff. We talk a lot about how it could hit our economy, the U.S. economy, 4%. Forget it, the world economy, and markets are trading in every corner of the world on this budget negotiation. I picked the Mexican peso. How about that? We're looking at the dollar versus the Mexican peso. Stronger dollar, weaker peso. Remember, Mexico's biggest export market is the U.S. If we can't get our fiscal house in order and we right. can't avert this fiscal cliff-induced recession, mm -hmm. that hurts economies in the world.